Hello everyone, hope you're well. Totally different look today. I have had a really productive day actually. I didn't think that I would be filming a video. I was really in the mood. I have so many new products here that I'm loving at the moment and I know that favorites videos are not really like a thing anymore. Like people don't really watch them that much but I feel like I haven't done one in ages. There are so many things that I really want to talk about. I have accumulated a really good amount of like fashion-y bits, like weird things that I haven't really spoken about before, even food items or cooking items. So let's just get into it. I'm going to start off probably with the jumper that I'm wearing and my jewellery just because they're on me. I have rediscovered my mango jumper. I actually have two of these from last year because they were just my favourites. They're so comfy. It's just like the perfect... I don't know what material this is, but it's like the perfect lightweight summer jumper. So like for at work, for example, I won't wear it like this. I will wear it with a shirt underneath, layered, or like today on a day off, I will wear it like this casually. Um, and I'm actually wearing jeans. This is exactly how I would wear it. I'm wearing just like a tank top underneath it. And it's just so versatile. I'm definitely going to be wearing, but it's not a favorite this year because I haven't actually worn it yet. But do you guys remember my little necklace that I wore all of last year? You could totally do something like this. It's just a really versatile thing. Second of all, we're going to talk about jewelry because I have rediscovered my love for mango jewelry. I feel like their whole new thing in the summer is they bring out their like gold plated jewelry. And again, I'm going back to last year's ones and also some new ones. If you've watched my last few haul videos, I think maybe, possibly I was wearing them there. These are some new, so you can get these now. Very chunky, but I still think they're very, like, understated. You know, you can definitely tell I'm wearing an earring, but they're not, like, super dangly or huge. Gold plated earrings. The only thing is one clicks into place, the other one, I'm always scared like it's going to pop out, but... We're just kind of trying to be careful. Um, and then I have my old, which is a little bit annoying, but I feel like the new collection is kind of similar to this. So even if you can't find these pieces that I'm wearing exactly, you can kind of replicate it. I've got my like signet ring that I used to wear last year all the time. And then my little coin necklace too. I'll just tell you last year, I wore a lot of the jewelry from Mango in the sea and they've held up really well. Like I'm still wearing the necklace. So it just goes to show that I think it is actually genuinely like nice quality, but obviously the rings at work, I wash my hands, like especially nowadays, etc. So you just gotta be a bit more careful with the rings. Then in terms of sunglasses, I have not touched one pair of sunglasses than this. Are these called the Wayfarer? I think they are the Ray-Bans. These are the sunglasses that I ever first saw LC Lauren Conrad wear on the hills. And I used to think, oh my God, you know when she used to do her braids? Like she used to always have like uh, a little braid or she used to do, uh, I think she used to do like just one like this. And then she'd wear these, she'd be all tan, she'd have her highlights. And it's when she kind of got like, in my eyes, I feel like when her style kind of developed. And yeah, these are about... I want to say these are at least five years old like they have sun cream in them you know they're like messed up uh they are the polarized version meaning that it just makes it easier to drive with so that's another reason i wear them a lot but yeah they're just like they're just the perfect pair of sunglasses they're comfortable they're not super expensive in the realm of sunglasses and they're just the ones that i've been wearing and reaching for literally haven't touched another pair of sunglasses I haven't found a pair of leggings that I have liked this much to the point where I get compliments on it by like strangers in the street when I've worn them and I literally am obsessed with them. When I bought them, I got them from ASOS in my last ASOS haul. I kind of regret not like just going on and showing you guys them because I think they're sold out, which again is super annoying, but I will try and link them down below. These are, and I, to be honest with you, I'm not, I like, honestly, I don't work out. Like I, I don't, I can't sit here and say I work out, but I, I have really gotten into wearing athleisure wear uh, this, this time because it's just comfortable. Uh, you can just kind of like whack it on. And on my days off, I will like at the moment wear a legging, like a gym legging rather than a jean, unlike today. I've just really gotten into it. I actually quite like styling them up. Like I would even do this jumper um, with this and something else that I'm gonna show you guys and a pair of trainers. And I just think you look like comfy chic. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm talking rubbish here, but I like it. And it's just these like, they're called three quarter lengths, but normally when I get three quarter length, like I'm not even extremely 
tall um but normally when i get three quarter lengths they like really come up to here but these kind of come up to here and they're like a really really nice length i'm not a huge fan of my calves and i wouldn't have kept these if they enhanced my calves but they are just a beautiful blue i don't have any leggings this color but they still have that dash of like oat mealy cream that this jumper is in them and as i said they're from nike and they're just lovely like they're such a nice pair of leggings and i think they were only 30 pounds as i said i will try and link them i got mine in a medium all of my other i have talked about this in my last video my weight has been like totally off whack um i probably could have got these in a small but then it, i'd be scared that i'd be like camel towing and all that kind of thing so i'd rather i'm happy with my medium choice is what i'm trying to say so i would stick to your normal average size in terms of fashion, I also have to talk about my Anina Bing t-shirt. I got this for Christmas, I think, from my mum. And I honestly wear it all the time. I feel like now Anina Bing t-shirts are going to be my new thing. I feel like any birthday, any Christmas, I'm just going to be like, Mum, can I have an Anina Bing t-shirt, please? Because they're just comfy. They're, I love the material. I know, obviously, spending like... 70 to 100 pounds on a t-shirt is like whoa i wouldn't normally do that but i am enjoying having t-shirts that are better quality and that i'm not just going to be a mess after a wash so yeah i've just really really enjoyed them i literally just steam it i have mine in a size medium in case you're wondering she has actually had sales on so definitely check out i've I like signed up to the newsletter and everything i just like the fact that she has like a slogan but she has her name i feel like if i had to design a t-shirt I almost would want it to be as nice as that is. I just, I really, really enjoy them. Lastly, in terms of fashion, I have this. I feel like I'm, I'm glad because I'm showing you guys pieces that I have had in my wardrobe, but also like a, a few new things. And because this is realistic, I really, if you saw my clear out video, like I've gotten rid of so much stuff. I do have a few like jumpers and things I didn't show in that video because it would have been too long. But I honestly have had such a clear out of my wardrobe and I've decided that this year and I've just noticed obviously with how life is changing, like we're not going out as much anymore. I don't need that many clothes, but I have rediscovered my parka and is this a parka? Like my utility jacket, should I call it that? From Topshop. Again, I think I got this either last year or the year before and I'm wearing this non-stop like this is all i wear on my days off i love wearing it with i'll show you guys i love wearing it with my little um balenciaga mini city again like super casual my hair is crazy it is just washed so it goes extra crazy tomorrow it will be more tame it's honestly the most versatile thing i will put it on because then i don't have to film a cutaway but this is it's literally my outfit so jumper like cutish jewelry uh, my parka, my jeans, and then I would just wear a pair of like trainers, whether it be my Vayers or whatever. We will try and link some similar ones down below. That one was only like 40 pounds. I think I bought one for my sister as well, if I remember correctly. Now, we come on to beauty, and these are the products that I think have honestly changed my life this this you know this these couple of months. I haven't had so many comments in my last Zara haul video about my tan ever. Like ever 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 you see sometimes my tan really does look hit or miss like sometimes i'm like wow barbs you, you look a little bit crazy but i will tell you guys now this is revolutionary because i have never found a tan that the next day i don't smell and when i mean i don't smell normally when i wear fake tan i have two days like i remember on my clubbing days when i used to like you know go clubbing quite regularly what i used to do is if i used to go clubbing for example on a saturday i would have to do my tan on a wednesday night normally mm. i'd normally do it wednesday night yeah if i really didn't want to smell because listen you're gonna sweat and you're gonna smell like a biscuit or whatever like a di I, I normally feel like i smell like a digestive biscuit so anytime i used to have an occasion i'd always have to fake tan a couple of days before so i'd have to really plan it whereas sometimes like if let's say i'm filming a video or whatever and like i want to be tanned but i have an event the next day or you know i'm going to work and stuff doesn't matter if i wash the tan i always wash my tan always i always wash my tan the next day guys it's not like i leave it on um i remember when we used to go to school and this is when i was about 15 some girls in my class started to fake tan and i remember they used to come into school and i think they didn't used to wash it off and the smell guys used to just be like on there was this one girl i can picture her like bless her obviously it's just one of those things like maybe she didn't know you have to wash it off but she just used to smell of biscuits like it's not a, a disgusting smell but i i don't like it 
but I was sent this item and I you guys probably know I don't really show a lot of things that I get sent and I've tried this now for at least two months and it's the Bondi Sands aerated self tanning foam in liquid gold quick dry formula intense hydration coconut scent and you guys probably know I love Bondi Sands. Another fake tan I like is Loving Tan. I tried Saint Chantropez, Saint Moritz, but I've never, ever, ever found a tan that doesn't smell the next day, ever. There isn't one, and now there is. And the best thing is the color is great. The one thing I will say uh, Bondi Sands is I wish this had more of like a guide color. It's a little bit hard sometimes, like I will fake tan sometimes literally right before bed, and I'm so tired from the day, and I kind of miss a spot like there's been times when like I've missed an elbow or whatever because I can't really tell where it goes on but for the lack of smell for the color um, longevity and everything I will take it and it's honestly I'm nearly out and I need that tan again like I'm, I'm gonna be ordering it I think this weekend a few more life-changing products I am obsessed with this and this is Eucerin Aquaphor okay we're gonna do some pharmacist um, recommendations over here now if you have dry skin, if you suffer with like, I don't know, dry elbows or I particularly, after I was on some medication that dried out my skin, for years now I will continuously, it doesn't matter like what I've done or you know, whatever, I have to go to bed and put lip balm on. I can't, if I don't put lip balm on every single night before bed, the next morning my lips are dry and it's that kind of annoying dry where it's like, oh my god my lips are dry like I can't stand it I'm also someone when I'm nervous I do lick my lips a lot and I just do it out of habit and I used to use a Eucerin in like a tube um, but now they've brought it out in a pot and I just got this from Boots and I keep one next to my bed I've got one um, in my handbag and it's essentially like the consistency of Vaseline or Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream but it doesn't have a smell um, it's really comfortable on the lips and I think you can get it, no, you can get it in a lip balm form as well, but this is more intense I feel like, because this is just the aqua form. The only thing is it does have lanolin in it, I can never say that word, lanolin, so if you've got like uh, allergies to things like that just be careful and always read the ingredients. And um, another thing that has kind of like changed my life, I have been working in a pharmacy during um, this time and they stock really really great products like fancy brands and everything but they also do some brands that I honestly before working there had never heard of and one of them was Salcura. I was doing some research on this brand because I tried one of their shampoos but it honestly does not work for me. I'm so picky with shampoos like I have to be so so careful but then I looked into this and I saw that it's the um, eczema and psoriasis spray and anyone who knows me knows I suffer with I think it's scalp dermatitis I have been kind of thinking of going to see a specialist when all this is done because it's kind of just getting to a point where I'm like it's just annoying me I think it's scalp dermatitis or seborrheic dermatitis but anytime I use a seborrheic dermatitis shampoo it just gets so much worse um, and like I've even tried to be like persevering with it like I'll try and use this shampoo for a couple of weeks but it gets so much worse that I have to go back to a more hydrating shampoo what I'm using at the moment is good but I still find sometimes like on day two or three I get a lot of dryness around my ears so my dryness literally is like a patch of dryness here and I also guys this is disgusting I get dry ears like inside my ears is that weird um if I use like my shower gel or if any of my shampoo goes in my ears, it exacerbates it to no end. So when I wash my ears, I have to just use warm water. This is disgusting. But I have found that this guy has literally been my friend because I can use it, again, gross, um, on a cotton pad and I use it around my ears when I feel like my ears are getting dry and I can literally feel it sometimes like they're sore. Um, and also I'll just spray it on, so like literally I will just spray it in my hairline um, and rub it in. I would say is if you've got like super lovely freshly washed hair probably don't use it although it says it's not greasy it still kind of is but I pull my hair up a lot for work you guys have seen me in my videos where I literally just slick my hair back and sometimes when I have my dryness if I don't use this I can't pull my hair back so it's saved my life in that now I can wear my hair back again and I'm not conscious of the size of my hair anymore or as much so if you suffer with psoriasis um, dry skin conditions or patches. I've also used it on uh, like around my lips where I've said like sometimes where I've forgotten a lip balm or something I've weirdly just sprayed this on my hand like a clean hand and, and wiped it around my lips because I get dryness around my, my mouth and it really helps. The only thing again 
I'm just saying. If you have allergies to essential oils or if you're just sensitive to them, this has a lot of essential oils in there, so just be careful. Obviously, always read the ingredients with anything I talk about. Moving on to more skincare. I have really, really been enjoying this brand, and this is called Your Good Skin. This is their refreshing face wash, and you can get this at Boots. I've really, really been enjoying this because I feel like it's a little bit of like a grade up from your simple or, you know, like your lower end like brands in the pharmacy but it's still this particular brand some of their products have perfumes but most of their cleansers don't so always always read the ingredients i'm really sensitive to perfume and i always read the ingredients and check that my cleanser doesn't have any but in the summer especially sometimes i don't want to be faffing around with a hot cloth in the morning it's just annoying and it's like unnecessary and i found that i just want something refreshing and i've really been enjoying this they do a hot cloth cleanser they do a uh, more like a gel cleanser and I think this is more like their foaming one and I think they also have another foaming one but I think this is just refreshing and lovely in the morning I just feel like it really cleans my face and I just find that I don't have to do the hot cloth step that I do at night in the morning when I want to be a bit more like you know in the morning when I'm going to work and then we're going to talk SPF I am always on the hunt for SPF I'm always trying SPF because I have such sensitive skin there's a lot of like I could really go into it because I've done a lot of research on it there's chemical SPFs and then there's mineral SPFs to be honest I'm still not really sure as to what my skin can tolerate and annoyingly the reason why I had to go and find something else is that the SPF I was using for years has been discontinued I think if anyone can help me with this please tell me I have been using the Laura Mercier Skin Shield SPF 40 for years. Do not tell me how I discovered it, but I did. And it was just fluid and lovely and not too greasy. It still was a little bit greasy, but I, any, I find like literally every SPF is greasy. Didn't leave too much of a white cast. It was high enough SPF to use on holiday. And literally I can't find it anywhere. So if anyone can, let me know. But I think it's been discontinued. I saw this and I don't know where I'd read that I think the like the brand is a good brand but I had a good look at the ingredients and it just looked quite good I like it when the ingredients list isn't like this long on SPFs as well where I'm like oh my god but essentially this is the SPF 50 UVB UVA plus 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 very high protection face moisturizing anti-aging sun protection for sensitive skin and it's water resistant and this is what it looks like the price point is really good it's around 25 pounds I would spend that and I probably would even spend double that on an SPF if I had to. I'm really, really sensitive to them. So for me, it's money well spent. I've been wearing it to test it even now that it's not super sunny because you should be wearing an SPF anyway. I'm not great at it. Um, and I have actually annoyingly been finding my pigmentation's been coming up. So I need to be a bit more, you know, sturdy with it. It's a nice SPF. It, it's got a really like, it doesn't have a fragrance, but it has this like nice smell to it. It's not horrible. Um, the consistency is nice. It's a little bit thicker than the um, Laura Mercier I used to use, but it hasn't broken me out. So anything that doesn't break me out gets an A plus from me. I just want to give the biggest shout out to Gabby Velvet Ghost, because I feel like Gabby honestly has like the best homey recommendations like i love watching her home content really like she's just good at like amazon buys and anytime she does videos like that i'm always like click 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 and i've just washed this and i should have dried it but i was just being lazy she was talking about this or she has been talking about this for so long and anytime she kind of mentioned it i was always like yeah i'll get it and like yeah i'll get it and then yeah i'll get it and then i never do now i finally got it and it's one of those um cool vegetable dicers and Honestly, guys, one of my favorite things, or rather one of the only things that I feel like I have, or I'm good, semi-good at making, is bolognese. But bolognese, I like to put lots of veggies in it. So I like to put carrots in it. I like to put mushrooms in it, onion, garlic. Um, I've even put peppers in it. The chopping process is like the biggest pain. I could spend, because I'm not great at chopping, I could literally spend 20 minutes chopping vegetables. This guy, I'm sorry, this guy makes everything so much easier. So literally you cut up like, roughly your veggies and you put them in here and this just once you pull this and everything is set up i got it on amazon and it's just great so gabby you have literally made my bolognese taste 10 times better it also dices it up really small and it just means that it's you don't get like i personally just i'm not a fan of chunky veg like if i'm having food i don't i don't love like a bolognese with like chunks of onion or like chunks of anything and this kind of makes everything into more like of a paste 
and it just tastes 10 times better. Technically, this shouldn't really be a favorite because I literally only used it today, but I feel like I used it today and it tastes great, so literally must be great. I, honest, honest to God, like when I bought this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be another one of those things that I buy that tastes disgusting, but I want it to be good because it's less calories. No, 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 no. You guys need to try this. So when pasta was like literally nowhere to be found, um, there's a shop near work and it's like a little independent store, like a family run independent shop with loads of cool stuff. You can see they import a lot of things from like Italy. They do some of my favorite childhood biscuits there and stuff. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's like a convenience store. And I saw this when the pasta, pasta was literally nowhere to be seen. And it's the light penne. Um, and annoyingly I have, oh, it's called, it's by a brand called Fiber Gourmet. I saw this and I was like, oh wow. And it's essentially, oh my God, I feel like a lot of you are gonna be like, Barbara, what are you eating? This is like so bad for you. But I don't know, like I'm not good at this kind of thing. Like I don't know how many, grams of this you should be eating i'm more like a if i'm gonna look at something it will like be i understand calories a bit more than like this kind of thing but honestly like what and guys i cooked this today for eight minutes and it tasted like pasta granted the pasta is very small like honestly this i got two servings out of this because normally what i do is i make like uh, lunch and stuff like leftovers and honestly it is just it tasted like pasta and i'm italian and i will tell you like if my pasta doesn't taste nice like honestly i i've been trying to eat like gluten-free and stuff like that and i cannot eat gluten-free pasta if you have your favorite gluten-free pasta recommendations please let me know down below that are easy to get and honestly my nonna's pasta like is you know to me pasta is pasta it's kind of like living in italy i could never do pineapple on a pizza like there's certain things that i'm just like i can't eat gluten-free like i've tried it it's just horrible so i really would like your recommendations sleep all they're saying is that they've added lots of fiber to this and because it has zero calories as the fiber goes up the calories go down i will take the fiber give me all the fiber you want to give me in a normal serving it's 130 calories like seriously 130 calories there you go I'm gonna try and get this again. If not, I'll probably just go to that store and try and get it. But I really, really, really liked it. The only thing obviously is like the bags are quite small and I can't remember how much it was. But I think that's it guys. I've been talking for ages. I've actually really enjoyed filming this video. I feel like a bit more chirpy and like happy. It really felt like I was just talking to my friends about all my favorite things, which is literally all I love to do on this, on this channel anyway. I love you guys all lots. You also got me away from revising, which is good because I've got an exam coming up, which is annoying. You know, any excuse. When I have to revise, I'm like all raring to go and film videos, obviously. I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye.